We have some news. This we can only jump into quick play, hacked quicker play. So instead of quick play, we're going to be playing quick quicker play. This weekend only, somewhere is changing up the goals for quick play. Enjoy quick play, hacked quicker play. Oh my god, this is so hard to, to say. A fun new way to play with faster capture speeds, payloads, and respawn times. Experience more team fights and more games and new strategies. Here are the changes. Intriguing. Respawning times are now 75% of their original time. Payloads in escort and hybrid maps will move 60% faster. Taking control of the objective point in hybrid is 40% faster than normal. Taking control of the objective point in control is 40% faster than normal and scoring the capture progress percentage is 80% faster. Taking control of the, of the objective point in flashpoint is 20% faster than normal, it's already pretty fast, and scoring the capture progress percentage is 40% faster. So it's gonna be like what, one team fight? When you play on Escort, Hybrid, or Push Map, the initial match time has been reduced to 70% of the original time. And any time extensions are also reduced to 70% of the total time added. These changes only apply to all players who play in Roll Queue and Open Queue Quick Play modes during the duration of the event and will return to normal after January 14th. Competitive play and arcade modes are not affected by these changes. Quicker play is the first quick play hacked. We want to explore new and fun ways to change core quick play gameplay. Changes will happen periodically and only for a limited time. We know you may have some questions, so here is a short frequently asked questions to help. Okay, I'm gonna get to the questions because some of them I might just ask myself. So let's just finish this article and then give my opinion on it. Why change the rules of quick play for a weekend? We want to learn what changes to Overwatch 2 you enjoy the most. Tasting new ideas with you for a limited time allows us to quickly understand what you would like and possibly implement changes to improve gameplay. This also gives players of all skill levels an opportunity to try out new playstyles and strategies that won't necessarily work as well in a traditional game of Overwatch. Why not create a separate play card in the arcade? The arcade is meant for game modes that typically only play one specific map type, like Assault, or completely different ways to play Overwatch. The quick play hack changes affect the core gameplay of our main mode, while still aiming to bring a more balanced play experience that is unique from the traditional rule set. Why don't we bring back the experimental play card? True! We want to encourage more players to join in on the fun. More players. In addition, most of the experimental cards from Overwatch tested hero balance changes, whereas these changes affect the core gameplay goals of quick play. How can I play the regular quick play goal set? You can start up a custom game with the traditional quick play goals and invite other players. So they have to join. Quick play matchmaking will return to, normal, to the normal goals after January 14th. Be sure to log in starting tomorrow, January 12th to January 14th, to see how fast you can keep up with quicker play. Let us know what you think and what new hacks to quick play you'd like to see in the future. Okay. Okay, pretty interesting. Okay, so let's just uh, do a TLDR. For one weekend, for this weekend, right, from uh, 12th, 13th, and 14th of January, they will be replacing quick play and introducing something called quick play hacked Quicker play. TLDR, it's gonna be faster. Um, they're testing changes to the core game mode, and the reason why they're doing this in quick play, not experimental card or arcade or like a separate queue and stuff, is because I assume they wanna gather more data and get more feedback on if this is actually a good idea and uh, see what they can, uh, what they can, they can gather out of this. Another thing that I mentioned here is that this is the first one that they're doing. This is the first one that they're doing, I think. So the first quick play hacked that they're doing. And we might see more stuff like this in the future. We want to explore new and fun ways to change core quick play gameplay. Changes will happen periodically and only for a limited time. Now, at first glance... I am going to say that this seems interesting. I don't know if it's better. I don't know if it's worse. It just seems interesting. And it's just going to be for a weekend and the middle of the season. It's not going to be that impactful, I guess, for the gaming experience during this weekend. Interesting way of changing this. And 
I'm excited to see how it's going to be played out. Now, are these changes something that I'd like to see in competitive games and stuff? No. I don't think that playing the game faster will result in, uh, in competitive play in tournaments and stuff. I would think that this is, uh, this is needed. But I'm just putting this out there. When I play some Valorant, I play that Spike Rush game mode, which is shorter. This means that game modes, that quick play, will be shorter. Now, literally, in Overwatch, you have something called, you, you have quick play, right? Quick play is just ranked, but only on one side. You know? Like, you only play defense, or you only play attack. It should be named half competitive play. This is actually, with this game mode, it is quick play. You know, like, when you hope for a game, you want to play the game, and that's it. You want to play for a couple of minutes. And this helps you do that. There's another point here that I want to cover. There have been like some issues with levers from time to time. You know, it has always been an issue in every game, to be honest. You know, like a lot of people leaving and stuff. Now, if the games are faster, probably they won't be leaving that much. Or if they leave, it's going to finish fast anyway. Another part, another point that I want to touch upon is if you only have one hour to play Overwatch during a day, if you play quicker play, I don't know the times and stuff and how much it's going to take, you will have more time to get more games in, right? Get more games in, maybe do more weekly or daily challenges. If they count, I hope they count because some challenges you can do in quick play. Maybe get your battle pass XP a little bit faster because you get the chance to play more games because quick plays give you XP, not like custom games that have a limit from what I know. So, all in all, Excited to see what's going to happen. Want to test it out. And super interesting to, to hear that they want to try stuff like this, to be honest. The fact that they want to try this out in quick play and get more data rather than separate cards, like arcade or experimental card, is, is very good. And I think they should have been doing this for quite some time. Also with experimental changes like they did a while ago, they were doing a separate card. Well, not everybody was trying that, but the quick play player population is probably pretty high. So this will give them a lot of data if people like this game or not. And who knows, maybe in the future, quicker play will become an arcade card or might even replace quick play. We'll see. We'll test it out and see. But I'm excited to... Uh, to see it in practice. Because having less downtime, like when you die and stuff, and being able to play the game faster, I think it's the way to go. Please let me know in the comments what you think about quick play, hacked quicker play, and uh, if you're going to play in the weekend or not. Till next time, ML7 out.